Hi everyone. Hi guys. Lovely to see you. Today, this is, I'm in a very serious mode again because we're it's introducing, not it's not serious. <laughs> we're introducing a new, a new perfumer that I had certainly n never heard of uh, until the other day when I met him um, and smelled some of his things. And I love, I love them. I, I only smelled them for a little while. Dan hasn't smelled them yet, have I'm you? Not at all, I couldn't um, be there. We, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a sort of a second smelling now. Um, and this is a wonderful perfumer called Kyle Fern who has a house called Redolescent. Is that right? I think Redolescent. I'm, I'm sometimes Not terrible at pronouncing. No, that's another thing. Uh, Redolescent and, you know, a fantastic house. Um, clearly a man with a lot of passion for what he does, I think. Um, and we thought we'd just smell three of his, of his mm. current offerings today. So you were today. introduced to him? I was introduced to him at a little pop-up that Sarah McCartney had done in Hammersmith. Mm. Um, and he had, he just had three perfumes out there to, to sort of, to introduce people to, and a little bit of, he talked a little bit about the brand and about mm. the, some of the interesting things which we'll mention, the designs and the origins and the inspiration for his, for his perfumes. And there were a couple more that were in production, or that he's working on, which were amazing mm. as well. But so I think nice a very, very talented Amazing of uh, individual. Sarah McCartney of 4162 says to, introduce us because she actually yeah it was great Thank she invited you for, us both to this pop-up that she was organizing and in her email she said oh by the way i think you will really like the fragrances mm. from this <laughs> this new brand yeah i mean so, if you're gonna get a great endorsement then someone yeah. like sarah is a, you know she knows her stuff and but typical of her generosity to you know yeah. try and sell someone else's perfume absolutely <laughs> yeah and you know i have to say i thought he was a lovely guy and you could tell he loves what he does mm. I haven't. Really I passionate. haven't smelled. I, I, could, I couldn't go to this event. I haven't smelled them at all. I just did a bit of reading on the website, and they seem to be all fragrances born out of lockdown. Yeah, it's a, in, a sort of project in, in that different, started different then. Different ways and uh, different stories. Let's we we yeah. tap into them. Now we've we were very kindly given some samples by Kyle on the on the day that I went. I've not even opened these yet because I thought I'd wait something. until we. We were here together. Tissue paper. So this feels like Christmas again. Should we start? What should we? Uh, what should we start with? A lighter one. Should we start with Merge? Let's have a look at Merge. I mean, so I don't know. I'm trying to go in little packets like this. Um, so as you can see, oh, that's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. I like that. So let's start with Merge. That seems a good idea. So, I, I, I uh, haven't thought this, but I read a bit of a blurb on the website. It says, during lockdown 2020, he escaped to the Welsh coast with his mum. This is a snapshot uh, in time of a walk by the beach of a Welsh, Welsh coast. What a nice thing. With, with his mum. Now, I have to say, I, I mean, I tried these on, on card at the time, not on skin. But even then, I really like them. Uh, is it going out? It is, yeah. It's going out. There we go. So, mm. I mean, some in interesting little things in the notes list here. Mm, I definitely get that uplifting spring. Mm, there's, oh. <clears throat> there's a hint of a kind of slightly familiar woody amber thingy there. I got it when we were spraying and... But there's quite an uplifting kind of herbaceousness. Yeah, that's, that's the thing for me straight away was that herbal... Not herbal yeah. is the wrong word. The herbaceous, grassy yeah, herbal. aspect. And it takes me back again. There's this, again a slight vintage nod here. Mm, a little bit. There's just a bit of sweetness there as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like a little, a little slightly hint. candied. Mm. Kind of so, like a salty, sweet thing. Yes. There's, there's something quite kind of candied in the middle. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Or like a little candy orange peel or something. But I can, I can definitely get the. Is it like a mimosa or something? Like I don't know. I'm not sure what. I'm not. Do you know? I've got. I haven't I'm, seen, I'm any, of, I haven't seen I, any of the uh, any of the. I've got a little notes list there's here. A little, there's something which, a little uh, bit funky in there as well. I'm going to have a hive mind. So, I mean, sometimes a notes list can be quite a boring mm. thing to read because it, there's actually, there's so nice, much more to this. But, but there's a slight kind of transparent citrusy without it feeling like it's overtly a kind of citrus fragrance. Now you've got, which is interesting. Um, ah, sorry, I'm just trying to find the right thing. Yeah, it's this beach accord. I'm not sure what that is, but mm. the mandarin orange driftwood accord. Mm. It's I love that. It's a, like a salty wood, mm. which I find really, really appealing. 
It's just, there's some, there's some kind of like, there's a slight hint of some kind of woody aroma, woody amber aroma chemical. I don't know if you used norlimbanol to get that dry, really dry wood. There's just something there's ambergr- slightly fun- ambergris in the base behind. Yeah, there's, as well. there's a, something a bit of funk in there. Yeah, coming. You know, and I'm kind of in, like an in, incensey thing yeah. as well. I, d- I think it's just the wood, but just a little something mm. diffusive about that woodiness. Yeah, and with a kind of salty, uh, salty sea air accord as well. Yeah. I, I, I found mm. with this, it was much more, the more I smelt it, it was much more interesting. Yeah, exactly. Than I first thought, I first smelt it, I thought, oh yeah, that's really nice. But those, the it notes sort of this gets more and more. It doesn't sound that interesting. It's, it's, way, it's mm. way more than it looks on paper, yeah, I find. I might, I might try a bit on skin. Yeah, I, th- I think actually, the, I have to say with these, I think they really need to be on skin. I think the card doesn't, doesn't do mm. it justice. I've not tried them on skin myself, but I, I remember thinking in the, in the mm. pop-up, these so need that, the warmth. That's a lot more... It's brighter, and I get even that kind of incense sparkle even yeah. more. There. So it's much more sparkling. Much more glitter of waves. Yeah. Good, I like that image. Mm. Very nice. I love, I love mm. that salty, sour that, thing and, that's and going the, on. And the saltiness is more then as well. Yeah. It's almost like you can taste it. Mm. You can taste that, like, salty... Is, which is the, is it the Red Sea that's really super salty? I should know. I've been in it. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't feel like Brighton as much as it feels like a really far away place. So of course, it, you know, it, it's it's here. I get, it was, I get a hint. I get a hint of candied orange as well, or like orange lolly. Yeah, there's something. There's de- definitely a, like, like a bright orangey, oily yeah. thing going on there. But bitter again, isn't it? It's, bitter. It's got like that bitterness. Almost grainy kind of. Yeah. Um, Oily, but uh, yeah, this is just a slight sweetness, which makes me think of like an orange lolly. Yeah, interesting. Well, I mean, why not? You know, what would what would you have on a beach on a hot day? Mm. I like Fanta. Daniel knows this. I love Fanta. It's not good for you, though. No, yeah. and it was made yeah. by the Nazis. You it said, was made by the Nazis. Terrible. Yeah, we could get absolutely sued for that. We no. should probably. <laughs> sorry, Mr. Coke. But I mean, I isn't like, that interesting? Like isn't that good? That, yeah, I love the wood in that. I I find a real sort of fresh mm. pencil shaving thing to it. There's a li- there is something a little bit of funk there, and there's 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 a, a fair amount of kind of complexity. It feels like it, I could see myself wearing this for a you know a, a, a beachside walk, but actually yeah. then also nuzzling my nose in to just get try and find a little bit more. I f- I find it really mm. addictive. I've, uh, this is the thing I found. Mm. I took the strips with me on the day, and I just kept coming back and back, and they became more and more familiar mm. and friendly somehow. We should say they've also got these really oh. quite cool lids, haven't they? I'll put, yeah. I'll put a picture up. But you know, all... this is the thing. The amount of attention to detail and care that Kyle has mm. put into these is incredible. The lids, yeah, I mean, you'll, you can find them and put them I'll, up in the I'll thing. I'll put them up here. But... They're all individual to the bottles and they're all different. They paint the scene, mm. and which this is one has really like, good. Uh, I think it's details of the kind of like rocks and the kind of sea kind of groins yeah. and the kind of waves. And I don't know if the website has the original photograph of the scene and then the mm. lid next to it, but if they do, it's really interesting because it, w- it, was a mi- it was a sort of mirror yeah, yeah. image. It, you know, it was really realistic. Mm. Yeah, in a, in a world of kind of like fruity aquatic things, this is definitely much more interesting. Yeah, than I've, in, in, totally. It, it's kind of, it's got, a refer- like, it's got a reference point, but it's actually more it's way more interesting. With some kind of like fruity, sparkly top notes. Hmm. I yeah, that. I mean, if I smell this first off, I wouldn't necessarily get the, I wouldn't necessarily get the aquatic thing. I'd get more this really salty, sour, woody mm. thing, yeah. which is, it's really interesting to my nose. Sort of familiar, but different at the yeah. same time. With that little vintage nod. Mm. Yeah, th- I mean, there's a, there's, mm. there's a hint really of some like kind that. of woody, ambery thing there, which I, when you first smelt it, I just got a little bit of like, ooh. You know, I, I sometimes have an issue with some kind of woody, amber yeah. kind of like things. And I got a bit, I got a twang of it, but actually it, it's not too persistent. It's not dense in any way, is mm. it? And I find whatever, whatever that was, it sort of dissipates very quickly. Mm. Mm. Interesting, Interesting, isn't like, it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I mean, and that's... So these are all, I think they are all £145 for 50 mil. So they're kind of, they're kind of mid-range niche kind of price, aren't they? Yes. Well, I think I think very reasonable. Mm. 
Now the next one. Next one, should we try uh, Hive? Hive mind. I was going to say that's probably the best one because the yeah the most punchy is the is the last. So as the name suggests, this is about beekeeping. So it, he says on the website he he kind of started uh, uh, mm. or developed an interest uh, in in beekeeping before um, the pandemic, but then um, you know COVID was offered him the amount of time which he needed to kind of really devote yeah, yeah. himself to this and on this lid it's it's a a beehive it's actually a wbc beehive which is a w broughton car wow i don't know about beehives mm -hmm. yeah i mean they, they get they get more i'm getting that more sort of opulent as they go like real big, real beeswax big. here yeah as it says on the thing these are not oh wow you know these are not pulling any punches mm. this this is proper beeswax and a lovely orange Mm. Can I just, Very beautiful. Can I just have a, I've just, you know, sometimes you, you smell something mm. and like an immediate image. I remember going to this beach in Suffolk and going to a pub for lunch and in it they had beehives there and next to the beehives they had a mock orange bush. Oh really? And mock orange is the most extraordinary beautiful smell and just the combination of mock orange and honey. Oh that's really good. Isn't that good? That is really, really good. That's one of the best. Where is it? Uh, well, it just says honey, cedar, beeswax. So, but here there's an interesting thing on on the sort of notes list: mm. Queen's pheromone, lemon and ginger oils brackets. Oh right. Um, neroli, jasmine, yeah, neroli. honey, beeswax. Oh, that's really good. Cedar wax. Cedar that's wax. So cedar good. Wood. I mean, that's much better than bee wise zoologist. Yeah, I, this it's, is the thing. Yeah. I really. I found this thing so much more interesting. I mean, oh, I really the like other that. thing was all about the jelly and the. The beeswax and the jelly thing, royal mm. jelly. But this feels more evocative. It transports me somewhere. Mm. And, and, and th th there's just a hint of citrus just giving you the kind of yeah. space and freshness. And it's because it, it's not actually cloying, oh. syrupy sweet. It feels no. more like natural. I would hate that. I, you know, if you said to me a sort of honey thing that was mm. really cloying and sweet, I would, I would run a mile. This I find absolutely beautiful. The neroli is really uh, uplifting and it makes me yeah. think of a bush. It lifts it, doesn't it? And you get oh, something like slightly that. like toasty again, like like you know, Golden you get a champagne, Grahams. yeah, Golden Graham, that sort of thing. I I find it sometimes in a good champagne, like a real toasty, mm. biscuity aspect. I like that a lot. Oh, I really like so that. beautiful. I mean, I'm scared of bees, but I like this. I I I I, uh, I far prefer that to the previous one, actually. Yeah, I mean, I I still mm. I I love I love the. Um, I love the saltiness mm. of Merge because it's so familiar to me. It's quite, it, on, on, the, it's gone mm. on skin, it's gone quite woody amber now, actually. But this, uh, mm. this hive, I'm really liking. Isn't that good? I'm finding a really surprisingly <laughs> uplifting for a honey fragrance. Yeah. It's not syrupy. It doesn't feel like a cloying, dense thing that you'd, that you'd mm. only wear in, on a freezing cold winter day. I find this you, quite good for spring. And there's quite actually, a, I'm getting quite now. a nice pencil shaving -y cedar as well Quite yeah uplifting it's very gently done isn't it in the, in the background there mm. but really really well crafted oh i'm really enjoying that i like mm. that a lot and i think i think without that without that neroli mm. it would be a different affair i think that it just gives it that mm. little lift it gives it that little edge yeah like having a little dash of of lemon in a in a in a, in a, in a yeah. thick sauce mm. it just it's piquant is that the word yes Mm. Oh, I like that. That's really good. Really I like that nice. one, yeah. And I love the fact that it's hive mind. Mm. It could just be hive, you know. Yes. I didn't realise. Oh, I didn't realise hive mind. I just written down hive. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, I that's, like a, that. that's a skilled perfumer right there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And again, on skin, imagine, you know, that's just on there. Imagine on skin what it's up to. Mm. The, the warmth of your own, the, the warmth the of your own, skin. of your own skin, like giving it a glow and a bit more radiance. Mm. Yeah, even more kind of citrus sparkle on first spray with this one. Mm. That cedar is just beginning to poke its mm. head out even more now. It's just a really, it's a good backbone. Mm, I like that a lot. Oh, that, that so good? that's it on the skin. That is really beautiful. Yeah, so elegant, so elegant. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting that that image of me being in that uh, pub garden by the sea. Oh, with the fake with, orange. With, with, with the mock orange, mock orange, mock orange bush. And yeah, 
and the and the bees buzzing away. Actually, it's funny. The orange starts to take over a little bit more mm. on card now. The honey, the honey thing is there, but I think it's just giving it a background creaminess. Mm. And actually, the orange is is beginning yeah. to glow a bit to my, to my nose. Oh, it's really it's a really beautiful it's, it's sort of better on time. skin actually. Mm. Beautiful kind of springtime neroli radiance to it. It's, yeah, it feels very summery, very uplifting, very yeah. happy. But yeah, but with more body as well. You know, mm. we often complain about summer mm. things just not being yeah. interesting. But this, I think, it has the interest behind it. It has a little really bit good. more to it. And the cap for this one is a kind of, as you would imagine, it's this uh, beetle the hive shape. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I love the caps. And the thing that's really great, if you look from a distance. You don't really mm. notice. You just mm. think perfumes with lids. And then when you look at them and you actually look at the detail mm. on, on each I of them, lot, yeah. they're fantastic. So do you want to try... I would uh, like to spray that all in myself. Actually. Do you want to try the next? Yes, let's do it. So this is called... This is called Hide. Hide. Now, a little bit of an, uh, 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 an introduction. Uh, so th this was originally called Hide at the Edge of the World. Um, and he says this is a deeply personal project marking a turning point in an ongoing management in his ongoing management of mental health um, and this was the, the same kind of uh, lockdown hike um, on the Welsh coast uh, he ended up uh, found this um, hide it's like sort of an old bird hide there we go. Um, yeah and, and just, just the kind of the strange oh wow <laughs> The strange peacefulness of being in this hide. Well, there's a really strong this is my black currant. Personal favourite, yeah. Oh, like camphorous black currant. Yeah, really sort of troubling. Oh yeah, it is quite troubling, quite kind of unsettling. Quite. Yeah. It's weird because it, it's it's um. Oh. The description so took me to this kind of like bright hilltop place, whereas I feel I've got scary woods. Yeah, absolutely, it's scary woods, slightly. Slightly medicinal. Yeah, there's. Like I, I, I don't know, but I kind mm. of get, I get like slightly weird medicinal medicine that is kind of nice, but it's not nice because it's a, it's a medicine, like cowpol or something, which you you know you know it's sort of on the surface it's mm. quite friendly, it's, but you can't yeah, have too much it's, of it. It's um, yeah. gothic in a way. Really gothic, incredibly gothic. Yeah. Dry, kind of like um, something like dry stone. wormwoody or something. Yeah. Yeah, Wormwood, but I, yeah, I, I feel I'm in the middle of the dark woods. Yeah. I don't feel I'm um, on a hilltop by the beach at all. Oh God, I think I think this is so good. I, lo I love this, it's, it's so weirdly troubling and... There's a peatiness to it? Yeah, peaty sort of da slightly damp soil thing. Yeah, definite damp soil. A sheep where, where you've not got, you've not got mushrooms and, yeah. and forest floor, but you've got sort of You've got black currant and and menthol and yeah, that camphorous menthol is something. Is yeah, quite, um, that's really interesting, isn't it? That's it's really almost a mint. Yeah, it's. I mean, it settles down into something else, but mm. I think I think Before, definitely the most yeah. challenging of of the three. Yeah. But I could wear that as well. I could mm. happily wear that because it's got such interest as well. It has, isn't it? But it's it's real thinking perfume, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, you know, uh, as you would have envisaged from from the oh. initial description. And I I get some animalic mm. funk just starting to poke its head out. What, what does he say for for notes here? He says I've got better notes. Berries, CH woods, ozone, camphor, tart berries, salt, sea air, dried woods, ambergris, in the in the sort of note technical information. It's interesting, from those descriptions, you think it would be quite a light, kind of bright seaside, mm, and it, just, yeah. it feels dark and troubling, again, as you would from the description. But what's interesting is that I think that, that camphor mm. aspect, it gives it a lot, of, a lot of sort of uplift and something that's quite, that's quite punchy. And I, I think, in a way, it's almost like mm. we were talking about the other day with, you know, when people are, are sort of are depressed or they're troubled in some way, there can be that first initial impression of a big smile. Yeah, yeah. And underneath it, there's yeah, something quite dark. dark. And I get a little bit of that here. Yeah, yeah. Especially the berry. Like a berry can be like, oh, there's a big juicy thing. Yeah, quite a friendly thing. But then underneath it, mm. just that little that little hint of. But this is it's, it's, quite, it's very elegantly composed as well. Yeah. And any rough edges are there deliberately, I think. Yeah, they're, but, they're but not they are, that there are it, any. It, but no, I don't. I, I don't mean rough edges, but I mean any edges no, in general, no. like 
transitions. It, it feels know, skillfully put together. Yeah. Mm. Give myself a break. I just love that camphor thing. That's really interesting. Because I mean, you could so easily do a sort of berry thing that's sort of mm. dark and and like a brooding, but actually the camphor thing. Yeah. But he's really balanced it well. It hasn't quite taken over because camphor is such a, as you say, it's like a medicinal strong. Uh, it could go, yeah, it could go too far in that direction. But the the balance of the berries and the wood and the ambergris, I think, on syrup, skin, that you're going to get that salty sweet mm. thing that just that really gives it the backbone. Really interesting. Isn't that good? Mm. I mean, I, I, I'm so pleased I went along because I almost, I almost wasn't around. I do. I really like that. Yeah, that's high fun. I really. That's I'm so warm that, now on your skin I mean, as well. I would, I would happily buy any of these. I think if if I had to buy one right now, mm. it would be Hive Mind for me. I mean, I think. But that's, I mean, that's brilliant. The yeah, the, the first oh, one is. See, that's. I think that's really interesting as well. Hmm. It's just this the, the the merge is definitely more feels more familiar yeah. in terms of other fragrances, but in a way, do you know that's what I like about it. Not that I, I it doesn't smell like something else I know, but it takes me back to a time. In mm. a way, it takes me back to university, mm. and there, there was something there was just something yeah. in my world at that time, and I don't know what it was. But that it, there's a familiarity there which I really love. But that uh, the hive, I feel like I mean the other oh. honey fragrance I own is Slow Dive, which is yeah. an extraordinary rich uh, yeah. uh, fragrance uh, from Hiram Green. This, uh, whereas this Beautiful. feels it's got the uh, kind of neroli and, and cedar is keeping the, that that um, richness in check. Yeah, it's it's kind of either end, mm. isn't it? You've I got really like that. you've got the the brightness of that, and then you've got the structure of that. Mm. And it allows the, the beeswaxy honey thing in the middle. God, and then that hide is just... It's just balanced. It's <laughs> so good. It's like, if you, if you were to take those two, hive and hide, <sighs> they're almost... Could be interesting. Put polar opposites, it? aren't they? Hive, hive hind. It's, it's hive. interesting. I, I almost feel, as a trio, he's taken oh, the, the first one, which is, which is a bit more familiar, and then he's taken these two fragrances, which are almost opposites. Yeah, absolutely. The comforting, the comforting sort of warm glow mm. that you get from from hive, and then this is, this is cold. The temperature has dropped mm. by several degrees. You, so that's what, that's the hive on yeah, skin. That's really good. Yeah. Really good. It's sort of gently animalic in its own way. Yes. Well, that's uh, the beeswax does have a kind of, you know, it is it's animal derived, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. <laughs> but it does have a slight funk. Just a little hint mm. of it. Yeah. So if you're going to buy one, which one would you get? Hive mind for me, I have to say. I would get hive mind, yeah, definitely. I mean, I like. Oh no, no, I know hide. Sorry. Oh, instinct. Hide. Okay. I would, no, I would buy hive mind as well, but hide. I, get, I keep getting the names modelled up. Sorry. Mm. Hide is what I mean. Oh, interesting. Because I just, I love that gothic, mm. dark, troubled thing. I would wear this on a moody day when I'm feeling a bit like I. Oh, it's good actually. I just want to be on my own and. I think. Feel grumpy. I can see myself buying hive, hive mind. Yeah. But I do like. I mean, they're, I think they're, they're just all really interesting, and they all have personality, yeah. and they all, they all are so well done. Yeah, very elegantly, yeah, very really well feels put like There's a lot of thought put into them. Put, yeah, he's uh, he's such a passionate man. Well, you know, I met him. He was l the loveliest guy, and you could just tell he really cares about mm. what he does. You know, th there are so many perfumers out there. I think coasting along, waiting to get bought up by Estee Lauder, and you know. But this, mm. this is this is a real passion project from someone that, mm. that has a lot of love. They feel Lots like really human. Yeah, there's a human being behind these. A lot of thought put into these fragrances. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I shouldn't want to buy this because it's so troubling. But I, I just I find it so appealing. Mm. Good stuff. Thanks for bringing. Right. Yeah. Th well, thank you for, 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 for Mr. Kyle. Mr. Kyle, Kyle Fern, <laughs> um, for doing this great stuff, and I hope, I mean, I hope we see more, and we'll, I think we're, I'm going to keep mm. a strong eye on this, on this brand now, and see, yeah, definitely, see where they go. If anybody I'll else, always be interested. If anybody else has tried them, I mean, I don't know if they will because they're, they're, they're pretty new, but if anyone else, yeah, has well, tried them, try them, get out there and, and smell yeah. them because they're fantastic. I think lovely stuff. Mm. Until next time, bye. Happy sniffing. <laughs>